Rovers. Well, it's been an overused statistic in the build-up to this game. At the last 65 meetings between these two at Anfield had produced just two nil-nil draws. Expect goals today, and United expect a win, having lost their last five in all competitions to their old rivals. And this is Danny Murphy, who's starting on the left-hand side of midfield for Liverpool today. To Milan Barros, his first appearance against United. That's a nice touch from the referee today, who's Alan Wiley, to give United their first touch of the ball. And John O'Shea, who made his Premiership debut here as a substitute in the defeat last season, has come a long way in 12 months. He certainly has. Whoever thought Steve would see him playing at Anfield at fullback. We talked about that before the game. But he's blossomed like you wouldn't believe. And this is just worth pointing out. A year ago, it was his Premiership debut here. What a lot he's packed into 12 months. Smeecher. And there is O'Shea with the foot in. I like to see that, throw. Steve. Something I like to see. Defenders putting their foot in. And Silvestro playing centre half today alongside Wes Brown, as they did in this fixture last season. Let's hope we get a different result. And there's their first test, and Sylvester wins it, but it's filled to Barros! And there's the first save, and a good one as well, from Fabian Bartes. Well, that's a magnificent strike by Barros, isn't it? An absolutely wonderful strike. Great save by the goalkeeper. Well, he's burst onto the scene with six goals this season. Well, he's a long way out, and he hits this, but he'll not hit it much better than this. It's Mikel Sylvester that headers it out. Great save. He's had a few important stops in recent weeks, Fabian Bartes. Well, the one thing you don't want to do, Steve, is come here and lose a goal the first couple of minutes, that's for sure. The sunshine's come out, Solskjaer away. And then by Scholes. Lupia and Onsho reunited at the heart of the Liverpool defence in the Premiership today. Onsho returned in the week for Liverpool in the UEFA Cup. And there's Barros again, the willing runner. Do you think that's a, a significant change by Alec Ferguson today, Brown and Sylvester? Because there's well, so I much think, pace between Barros yes. and Owen. I mean, this is a strike. Oh no, this is a strike again. A magnificent save by the goalkeeper so early on in the game. But yes, I think we, it, Gerard Hulia, tremendous stop. Said in the papers during the week, if you can believe him, that he fancied a little bit of pace up front against United, and he certainly said he was going to play Barros and, Mar and Michael Owen. Alec Ferguson has counteracted that with. Sylvester and Brown. Interesting battle. So too will be the one of Forlan and Van Nistelrooy against Onsho and Hippia. Solskjaer caught late. Yeah, just a little bit late in his challenge, Traore. Later on in the game, you get booked for that, Steve. I don't think he was too impressed with the challenge. man in form being picked up by Onsha. Forlan is joining him. Looks as though it's going to be Ryan Giggs, the skipper today, to swing in the free kick. Which he does. It's not a bad one. Touch from Van Nistelrooy. And Dudek has to make a save. Well, he's not happy. Happy. I think he got a little touch there from Rud Van Nistelrooy. And I think it's one of the Liverpool players that gets a touch there. I think it comes off Hypey and then maybe hits. Is it Rud that hits Hypey first and then Rud? No, it's Rud gets a touch. He's not happy about the little dig he got there from... Rud van Nissel, Roy, Sam Hippie. You don't mind seeing that, do you? Certainly do not. So both goalkeepers, both of them have been in the news recently. Dudex uh, plays reportedly in the threat. Gerard Hulier has kept faith with him. And they both had to make a save. Solskjaer's flick, van Nistel Roy. Forlan in front of him. Here is Forlan. Nice touch. Chance for Solskjaer. I'm not so sure he's offside. offside. He's given offside. I'm not so sure about it, Steve. Great build up by United and great football. And started by Diego Forlan. I'm not so sure if he's offside here or not. That's arguably that. He's talking about being alongside the centre half. It was a great finish. Certainly a great finish and a great bit of football by United. Sadly, it won't count. Well, it just puts a little bit of fear in the, United, uh, the Liverpool back four. by O'Shea again oh Steve I can't believe the pace of this game <laughs> dear me not so many games in the Premier League played as quick as this game surely it's got to slow down at some stage thank you Smeetja who's just 
nipping in behind the front two at times. Well, that's gone all the way through to Owen. Gary Neville did very well. Absolutely brilliant work by Gary Owen. I think the pass took everybody on, and there's another late challenge by Smeeson and Paul Scholes. Another late challenge again. We'll see. It. This is it comes through and does exceptionally well, Gary Neville. Everybody misjudge it. Certainly, and if Gary Neville hadn't got his foot to it, Scholes to fall out. Back to Scholes. Nice ball to Solshire. He's going to have a go. Oh, what a go as well! What and Dudek needed to make a brilliant save. I tell you, that ball was bending all the way from the minute it left all his foot. Paul Scholes sets it up. It's bending all the way. Good save by the goalie. It takes no chances. I'm not going to try and hold on to this in case it comes off my body. Good save. Giggs to take the corner. Once again, O'Shea and Brown both in there. Sylvester hasn't gone in. It's towards Brown. And do that. Grateful to get a hold of it in the end. You must say a bit of hesitancy in the uh, Liverpool defence there, all waiting for each other to clear it. Charges the ball down from Fortune. It's Barros and now Smicha. Wide. Yeah, I think it was always going wide. The bend was too much on it. He doesn't get enough bend on this, Steve, and it's always going to go wide, I think. Oh, it wasn't far wide. I thought it was, when I first saw it, it was miles wide, but it certainly was not. I oh, pulled his hands down at the end, Fabian. I think he knew it. Hasn't scored in the Premiership yet this season, Vladimir Smicha. This is Barros. End to end stuff. Half an hour gone. Gerard's ball in. Bartes came and Gary Neville with a brilliant piece of defending. We've got to say that was a wonderful ball in from Gerard. Poses United all sorts of problems. It comes from Barros and the ball in's a great one from Gerard. Bending away. It comes Fabian, but it was never his ball in the first place. Great defending by Gary. And strangely enough, it goes out for a throw in. Well, don't be fooled by the scoreline. No goals, nil nil. But a tremendous we'll advert for Premiership time. football. And, and the two old rivals have shown bags of skill and bags of commitment. Bartes with an important save early on from Milan Barros to keep it goalless. Dudek with a couple of good stops as well. One from Solskjaer, who also had a goal ruled out for offside which was uh, an arguable decision, but a terrific advert, as I say, for top-flight football in England. United have matched Liverpool all the way. It is finely balanced and a terrific pace, but as yet we wait our first goal. All square at the break at Anfield. Liverpool nil, United... Welcome back to Anfield. No changes from either side at the break. United playing like Liverpool, their 16th match of this season so far, starting this game. Five points behind them, and at this stage last season, United were five points down on the total they've accumulated so far this season. Liverpool are two points worse off at this stage than they were last season. Four lap. Giggs will get that, he looked up. He's found Van Nistelrooy, an important challenge from Carragher. There's been uh, two or three of those from him today. Yeah, we said that late on in the first half, what an important challenge from him. And that was an important challenge because Rudin was away. Straight back down the other end. O'Shea fouled by Heskett. And now Jamie Carragher, who once scored a couple of own goals here against United. Well, for the good, first time breaks yeah, it up. Good ball from Ryan Gibbs, he tries to get the other side of him, Rudin, but... Great challenge by Carragher, wins the ball cleanly, had, had it, to. Had it not been, he was through. Yeah. Bartes has come across to take the free kick, which he hammers towards Solskjaer. Good touch as well. Someone needs to cut off the goalkeeper. All they have, fall on, yes, goal counts. Mistake from Jersey Dudek. And it's Diego Forlan with his fourth goal for United at Anfield to give them the lead. 
Well, I don't believe that. I do not believe that, Steve. I've seen lots of goals given away in football, but I've never seen anything like this in my life. I mean, it's a nice eighty head of, head of back from Cali. It's a goalkeeper. Can you believe that? Well, the United fans certainly aren't stunned here enjoying it, but the Liverpool fans cannot believe it, and neither can I. What is he thinking about the goalkeeper? What is he thinking about? Well, the shirt didn't quite come off, but that will be the man in the headlines. He has been, to be fair, recently. There was a lot of talk in the UEFA Cup tie building up before this game. Would he be left out with Chris Kirkland on the bench? And United have profited from another Jersey Dudek mistake. They've got their noses in front. Traore's ball in, headed away by Brown. Well, I was saying, Steve, players will get tired the second half and they'll make mistakes. Don't expect goalkeepers to get tired and make mistakes. Well, in this fixture last year, it was Fabian Barthez. It's been David James over the years as well. There's so been a few goalkeeping errors, and that's certainly a big one from Dudek. But United aren't going to worry about that. For that, he's trying to pick out Van Nistelrooy. Oh, and it was an important header from Hoopier. Certainly an important header, but football by United. Heskey beats Brown. Coolness from Sylvester. He's been magnificent in there today. Yes, he certainly has, and so has Wes Brown. Well, let's hope we can keep this lead, Steve. Well, sometimes you need a break. Well, they certainly got one there. Dear me, dear me. And the unfortunate chance from the United fans of Jersey Dudek is a red. <laughs> now come away to our left-hand side. Let's hope they're chanting at the end of 90 minutes. This is Giggs. This is the goal scorer for that. And now Van Nistelrooy. Oh, Red, you shouldn't go down. That is the same as anybody else. You shouldn't dive there. We're complaining about other people, but... No, you don't go down like that. <laughs> the ironic cheers as Dubek takes that one. Well, there's no hiding place as a goalkeeper. And there's the man who's breathing down his neck, a former Coventry goalkeeper. I'll tell you something, what a goalkeeper. What a goalkeeper. Skulls in. Now, can this give United a... Real kickstart in this match. It could be the turning point. Let's hope so. Here's Giggs driving through. It's through to Forlan again. Go on, Diego. Yes! He's done it again. No fluke about that one. The Uruguayan has beaten the Polish goalkeeper. All ends up this time. And United, in the space of three minutes, have two goals. Well, but that goal is deserved because that's great football. Ryan Giggs, the one that finally gets it through to you. Paul Scholes has been magnificent all afternoon. Great ball from Ryan Giggs. He comes in, takes his time, and it's the power of the shot that beats the goalkeeper. And some people would probably think, well, the goal shouldn't be beat from that angle, but I think it's the power of the shot that beats him, Steve. Well, it's getting better, isn't it? What did we say before kick-off? Yeah, we're saying we hope he scores a goal. There's a please, man. Just a bit. Now they've got themselves in a great position. 23 minutes to go. 2 0 up at Anfield. And he's on a hat trick. Oh, Diego waited for a foul that wasn't given. You'll get booked for that, Diego. Well, there was a free kick early on which wasn't given. Well, Mikel Sylvester won't give Liverpool the, goal, the ball. Well, they're very frustrated. He shouldn't hold on to the ball, Mikel. Oh dear. It's all boiling over now. Well, Quentin Fox was complaining about a free kick a second ago, and he was quite right. And I think it was a little bit of temper in Diego's part that he swung his boot at it. And, and it's a challenge that deserved to get booked, but I think it only come because there was a challenge just before that that was not booked. The one thing to do, Steve, two goals up. You don't want to give a goal away straight away. Sylvester and Forlan going in. What? That's four yellow cards for, Liverpool, for well, United today. Mikel has been booked for holding on to the ball, which you're not allowed to do, Steve, to be fair. We'll see it here. Yeah, it's a challenge from the back. You'll always get booked. What Mikel's complaining about was the foul just earlier on. You're not supposed to hold on to the ball, Mikel. 
Now, I think before this free kick, Liverpool want to make a change. El Hadjouf getting involved. Now there's uh, a bit of movement in the penalty area as well. Sammy Hoopier and Mikel Silvestre are the players involved. Well, I think it's a very upset Liverpool team. Gary, you're right, tell them to keep their heads son, and get a hold of them. What's he talking to Quinton for? Fortune and Murphy from the earlier incident. Well, United have just got to keep their cool and not get upset. That's what they're trying to do, the Liverpool team. Liverpool want to bring Juf on for Smeecher before this free kick. The referee hasn't seen that yet. And he still hasn't as Murphy plays it in. Great defender by Mikel Sylvester again. And then by Gary Neville. He's got so a much commitment. His, he's got a whack for his pains as well, Gary. Now then, test of pace for O'Shea. Heskey's cross. Could have got anywhere, still not clear. Solskjaer back. Miscue from Risa. Nervous clearance, it's back to Gerrard. Bartes kept that in. No, he hasn't. Corner. Yeah, just a little bit of panic in the United defence. There for a second. When this ball comes in, and you'll see, Steve, when it comes in the second time. Juf's offside. Watch Juf there with the fair hair. He doesn't go out, I haven't seen it. Great challenge by him. Yeah, it was, but just a little bit of a planet there by United. Deeper one. Made by O'Shea. Not sure if Gary will come off. Maybe he'll put another player in the middle of the park. You're right. Quinton Fortune, straight swap. Quentin Fortune's played absolutely magnificent today. I thought he might have put another taking someone else off and kept Quinton in there but he's still quite content the manager to attack well he has done well Quinton Fortune well Ali Solskjaer's doing the right thing this is not a foul Steve as long as he stays a yard off the line this is not a free this is not a foul trying to avert the long throw in O'Shea won the first one, Brown the second one, back in from Carrigan, Juice in there, Brown as well, and Malabonis, and a goal from Sammy Hoopia. With nine minutes to go. Just what United didn't want, now it's going to get nervous. Yeah, it certainly is, it's just a ball into the box, as we said, they were going to throw them in, everybody barking for it. Sometimes the ball will finish up at one of the opposition's feet, it does here. And it's a goal, unfortunately, it doesn't finish up at a defender's foot. Well, that's a late challenge by Gerard and Phil Neville. That is a late challenge, referee, and you've let him away with it. Well, wow. it's a very late challenge in Phil Neville from Stephen Gerrard. No emotion from either manager. No, there'd be more nerves in Alex's part than his part, because he's probably thinking that 2-0 the game's over. Alex knows it 2-1, it's not. Not now. Sammy Hoopier, a Liverpool skipper with the goal. And you think about that Van Nistelrooy chance just a couple of moments before it, but it's gone now, and United have to defend. Liverpool's tails are up. Oh, but the thing is, with Liverpool, they've got to take a chance, Steve. There's always a possibility that United might be left a little bit to the end for somebody to get in the end of. Here's another one awkward into the box, and it's come for Deep Mahamad! What a save! And what a crucial save that could turn out to be. What a strike. What a strike from Haman and what a save from that fella. It's yeah. backs to the walls at the moment. Seven minutes to go. That came off Gary Neville. Murphy. The flag is up, the flag is up, and Alan Wiley has now seen it. What a game this has been, and what a save that was. Unbelievable save. What a strike from Dietmar Haman. You've got to say, this is in the net as far as he's concerned, they never been in the stadium. What a save. Going away from the goalkeeper all the way. That's the view he got of it. Oh, absolutely magnificent. He's not sitting down now, that's for sure. I think many people in the stadium are. 
last 90, 60 seconds of normal time. Giggs battling with Gerrard. There'll be a lot of eyes on that stoppage board when it comes up as well. Four minutes. Here, me, that's something we didn't want to see, isn't it? And this is Owen. <laughs> and this is Gerrard. That's a let off. That yes, was a chance. Yes, that's a let off. He doesn't realise the time he's got, Stephen Gerrard, but he's so impatient to take the shot that he makes a mess of it. There's so much time that he didn't realise and he makes a total mess of it. And what you can't see on your screen is Alec Ferguson having a conversation with the fourth official, saying, where on earth did you get those four minutes from? Hamad. Gerard. the referee's had one look at his watch. Jump, Gary, away by Brown. Murphy. Sylvester to the channels. Now Giggs. In from Gerard, away by May. Another look at his watch. And there it is. A win at Anfield for United. Finally, the run against Liverpool is over. He's just as much a hero as Diego Forlan. But in all honesty, it was 11, 12, 13 heroes today. He needed a slice of fortune from that man, Jersey Dudek, to give Diego Forlan his first goal. Two minutes later, a power drive, beat the Polish goalkeeper with the second. Sammy Hoopier's strike, nine minutes on time, made it nervy. But thanks to Diego Forlan, United win their first game over Liverpool in seven matches and become the first side to win in the Premiership at Anfield for almost a year since Arsenal's 2-1 victory last December. It's nice to win. We needed to win. It was a, a very important game and I'm well, happy to score and also to win. And I guess you know what it means to the United fans to win here. Yeah, maybe you get you know what the players tell you about uh, the derby. Also, you know a little bit, but but you have to live to to feel it when you are playing, or also in the in the road when you are in the people and people talking about the derby against Liverpool. Even before you came to England, you'd said to me you knew what a Liverpool Manchester United game was all about. What, what was it like to play in today? Yeah, it was really really hard to play. They have really a uh, good team, and uh, well. Being away, always playing uh, in in their pitch is, is totally different. But I think we play well and and we we had a very good match and three points very important. Well, what an afternoon for United, having beaten Newcastle in the Premiership, their first victory in seven matches over Liverpool here at Anfield, and becoming the first side in the league to win here for nearly a year since Arsenal's 2-1 victory. A victory that at the end of the season you might just look back on and propel them right back into the championship race. Well overdue, thanks to two goals from Diego Forlan, and a very, very happy afternoon for the United fans at Anfield. We'll have more for you on the highlights shortly. From us all at Anfield for now, it's goodbye.